<laughs> hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Leah and today I am doing an updated curly girl routine video. So it's been a while since I've done a hair video um, and I have noticed quite a few comments lately that you guys want an updated routine video. And I am never one to disappoint my little love bugs. So here I am today with my current curly girl routine. Um, my hair type is wavy and it is fine and it is, I think, thick. I have a lot of hair. I don't know if that would make it thick, but it's very fine, but it's also wavy. I have a very odd hair type and it drove me crazy most of my life but now I'm pretty okay with it. So I'm on day two and my hair is actually a little damp. I just refreshed a little while ago. Um, I will say my hair is not looking its peak today. I tried out a new gel and I'm not loving it. We'll talk about that in a minute. What's changed from the last time I did my low porosity wavy hair products video is my shampoo and conditioner that I use on my regular wash days. So I switched from a coconut oil based shampoo and conditioner to these guys right here. Um, this is the Not Your Mother's Naturals Blue Sea Kale and Pure Coconut Water Sea Minerals conditioner and shampoo. So I really liked the 100% coconut daily ritual shea moisture product. It smells so good and it felt nice on my hair but I did start to notice after a while it did start to build up and it really weighed down my curls or waves or whatever we're calling them. So I wanted to switch to something that was a little bit lighter but I knew was still really hydrating and I went to the Facebook forum because there of course is a group for curly girls and a lot of the wavies in there recommended this one and I'm all about the Not Your Mother's Naturals line because they are cheap. These I think are maybe six to seven dollars a bottle and I just saw them on sale at Walmart for like five dollars so I should have stocked up. Maybe they're still there. I'm gonna check. But right now I am loving this set because they also smell fantastic, but they've got a really nice feel to them. Uh, you can tell they're really like weightless almost after your hair is dry, but they don't feel like that when you're washing on wash day and then when you're doing your conditioner. I do use this one as a co-wash every once in a while. That's not my favorite thing to do just because of my hair type. It just gets a little greasy. Um, but it's light enough that it really works well for that but I also feel like my hair is really hydrated at the same time like it's got much better curl definition and it feels really just moisturized so these I think are a really good choice for someone with you know the same type of hair that I have so kudos to these another point that I'm gonna bring up is that my hair is not really low low porosity it's like low medium porosity so it does need a kick of protein every once in a while so i really like this this is the shea moisture manuka honey and yogurt hydrate and repair protein power treatment i'll do this like every other week for um like 10 minutes and it my hair loves it. I can tell I'm almost ready to do it because my hair just feels a little frizzy and just not like itself. Also, it is winter in North Dakota, so my hair is starting to get a little bit drier. So this I'm probably gonna bump up to maybe, you know, a little bit more often. But I do find that this really makes my hair feel really happy when it's just kind of getting a little me. But I will also point out that I did find that I was overusing this a little bit. I had to slow down um, because I could tell it had too much protein and just the way my hair was reacting when it was wet. Um, so if you use protein, use it sparingly. Like I said, it is winter, so my hair does need a little bit extra kick of moisture, so I am still using the Shea Moisture Silicone Free Miracle Styler Leave-In Treatment with Marshmallow Root. This is, I think, my third one of these, and I just love it. It gives my hair what it needs as far as a little bit of extra moisture after I've rinsed my conditioner, and it doesn't weigh my hair down, so this one is still a top, like, I love you. This is a really great product. So that is pretty much my in-shower cleansing conditioning routine. It's pared down a little bit. I used to use a the Cantu Curl Cream, which is still a really great product. It was just a little too much for my hair and I found that I didn't need it once I started just really focusing on this and using the lighter um, weight of the conditioner and shampoo. So let's talk about stylers. Recently I found a new styler that uh, was recommended by another curl channel. It was 
Bianca Renee. She's great. If you want to get a ton of information about curly hair, especially for different types of curly hair, go check out her channel. I will link it below. Um, but she swears by Dippity Doo Girls with Curls Curl Boosting Mousse. Um, this is what it looks like and I love that it's Dippity Doo brand because what a cute name um, and it's just cute packaging and I found it at TJ Maxx and it was $5.99. That's the only place I've seen Dippity Doo in my town. Um, but I really like this because it's not like a mousse that comes out as like creamy and thick. It's like more like, you know, those pump foamy um, soaps that you get at Bath and Body Works. It's a little bit closer to that texture. So I think that for me, that's a little bit easier to work into my hair. Um, but I really like this one because I think that this helps my hair, the curls get more of a curl pattern as opposed to just a wave. I feel like this really does boost the, like curl in my curls. Plus it is not sticky and icky and it doesn't, you know, make my hair feel gross like some other mousses, <clears throat> herbal essences do. So, um, this one I highly recommend and it's cheap like six bucks and it's a lot there's 6.7 fluid ounces in there that's quite a bit for a mousse after I mousse and my hair is still dripping wet and in the shower then I'll put gel um, I'm still really liking the mousse gel combo I think it works really great it's my best styler combo um, I did use this new gel recently and I have not been liking it this is the LA looks spike max gel um, I ordered it online and I thought I was ordering the blue one, which I really like. I think it works really great and it's unscented. This one has a very like dude scent to it, like a little Axe body sprayish. Um, so there's that. And then the fact that it's Max Spikes, I thought, okay, I ordered it, you know, by mistake. Maybe it'll be great because it's going to be super hold. Um, Yes, it does have really good hold, but it also feels sticky. Like it makes my hair look a little stringy and it makes my hair kind of stay clumped together even after I scrunch it and get the crunch out. Um, so I don't recommend this gel <laughs> um, unless you're actually doing spikes with your hair because um, it just feels really like stringy and I can feel it like in my scalp and on my hair. I, it's, I don't like it. So my favorite gel at the moment, my total ride or die is the Aussie Instant Freeze Gel. This stuff is cheap. It's two bucks maybe at like Target and Walmart, but it holds so well and it scrunches out like a dream. Um, I love this one. I think it is probably my favorite gel to date. So that is my current curly girl, wavy hair, low porosity, medium porosity, um, thin, fine, whatever this is that makes it look pretty good for the most part on most days. If you've got any tips or other products you think I should try, definitely pop those in the comments below. I do have a list from some of my other videos of stuff you guys want me to take a peek at and see how it works on my hair and trust me I am getting to it. It just takes me a while to get through product. So sound off. Let me know what some of your good finds are. All right you guys I hope you liked this video. If you did please make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button and if you do I will love you forever. All right you guys have a great rest of your day and we'll see you in the next one. Bye, 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 bye.